Welcome back, my friend, to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. We're about to watch this video from Cold Blue Camp about a drunk woman that goes absolutely nuts after trying to flood her child. So let's go ahead and watch this video. Let's go. In May 2022, officers were dispatched to a restaurant for a disorderly female in Wyandotte, Michigan. The staff stated a 30-year-old female named Jessica broke a glass and screamed at employees. About 30 minutes later, officers were dispatched again, this time to a park, in response to a potential intoxicated female who was barefoot. Oh. Upon arrival, they observed Jessica seated against a tree in the park, barefoot, shedding tears, and appeared distraught. Hey, you okay? Oh, okay. What's going on? Hey, you all right? What's the police department? Hello? Hello? Hey, you okay? I'm okay. Well, what's going on? Obviously, something's going on. Yeah, um, Diesel? Can we help you? I mean, what's... Yeah, if you can get his no, son to come over here and treat me like... 21, 28. <laughs> oh. Did you get... Did you have, is that your boyfriend or husband? No, he's not my boyfriend. Okay. No. <laughs> what happened at Portofino with No, you? actually, he's not my husband. I shouldn't say he's not my boyfriend. He's what? not my husband. Were you guys at Portofino? Yeah. And what happened? Um, I got irritated because I got drunk and I wanted to go home and he wanted to hang out with his family and I asked him, I don't mind him feel good and I wanted to go home. Home, and he kept screaming at me that I was a drunk and that... Do you have anyone that can come get you? Because obviously... Unfortunately, I've been trying, but... Okay. Nobody's answering the phone? It's a loss. <clears throat> okay, who do you think could come get you? Nobody. Unless you would like to drive me home, I would more than okay. appreciate it. How'd you get up here? Um, I drove my own car. My little Mercedes is in the parking lot. Okay. Yeah. And then you don't have okay you guys before this continues this video i just because of the title i just want to say out uh, that at least that girl didn't drive home with, in, her, in her car right and it seems like she has like had a little dispute with the husband or boyfriend or not not one of those because she said they were not, neither of those but it seems like she drank a little bit too much she did ask the guy if she wanted to go home but there's no way he wanted to leave his family which in a way I don't know how the whole situation, right? But like, if you're with somebody and they get drunk and they're asking you that they want to go home because uh, they're drunk, they don't feel good. Uh, if you really want to be with the person or something like that, I'm not saying he did or not. Or even if you don't, I mean, it would be good for you to take them home. I'm just saying, okay? And it seems like she's feeling bad and stuff like that because she feels like nobody wanted to help her go home. Especially the guy, I guess she's trying to be with. And I understand that it's good to always be with your family and stuff like that. But he, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing I'm, you know, I could be wrong, but he could have just took her home to come back. Right. Uh, but now that she was going on with this video, I just want to point that out, man. Cause for some reason I kind of feel kind of bad for her that she was trying to get home and that guy didn't want to take her. Have anyone that can she was a at all, huh? No friends Unfortunately, or I've been dialing the phone, but it's looking like it's a negative. Despite the recommendation to call an Uber for herself, she refused and ordered that officers drive her to a specific Ooh. location. Is there any way you can get maybe an Uber and then go stay at a hotel for the night? Unfortunately, no. I believe I would like to stay at my own house that I pay for. Okay, well, how are you going to get to your... Every single day. How are you going to get to your own house? Well, you're a... F and, um, you protect the public, right? So I'm sure you would like to protect me. Well, we would, and that's why we would like you to exactly. get an I Uber. Exactly, I have no to... other way to get home other than you at my um, residence. So okay. would oh, you like to Okay. Well, we would. We want okay, you call then. an Uber. So could you please you get me there? Me home, so. we, we're not going to leave you out here. And Do you have ID with you? No. What's your first name? Jess. Due to her high level of intoxication and noticeable detachment from reality, she presented a danger to herself and others. I mean, you're okay. the one who protects the law, so I'm pretty sure you should know more than me, okay. but who knows? Here's, here's what I'm done talking to you. You're not going to talk to me like a child. You're drunk. You're talking you're, to me like a oh, child. Oh, your voice. You're drunk in a park. I'm not drunk. Talking. I'm completely sober. Would you ask? No. Would you like to ask me a question you're that... Not, you're not completely sober. You're the one that told us you drove here drunk. I did not drive you're, here drunk. You're, you're, I didn't you're, tell you're you I here. drove here drunk. You did. No, I didn't. Did. Uh, no, I and, walked here. Prove and, to me that I drove here drunk. Hey, Prove to me. Calm Prove down. It. Calm Prove down. It. All right, you guys. Um, hey. Okay. I, I, I just I just want to say something. She did ask the police officers if they could take her home. I seen other videos where, especially the one with the bike, I think, in this channel, that the police officer came up 
to a guy that was on a bike and he was sitting on the side of the street also drunk and uh the police officer asked him he said yeah he's been drinking and stuff like that and the police officer actually put the bike in the back of the car and took him home gave him a ride home which i, I was like oh that's pretty cool for the police officer right i don't know how it works in different states but uh I mean, if she's asking the police officer if they could give her a ride home and they're like, no, I'll call her Uber, I kind of get like mixed feelings how, why the other police officer did give that guy that was drunk in the bicycle a ride home. So I, I don't know. Maybe it was different. I, I'm just saying, man, because I've seen another video where they actually did take the person home and she kind of asked them, like, I don't know if she didn't want to call her Uber because some people feel like, uh, they don't feel comfortable with the stranger driving them home like from uber or taxi or whatever i know when i was younger and i went to a club i had a friend a girl that kind of got really drunk and she wanted to go home and of course some of my other friends were still in the pot on, on the club and stuff like that and uh at the time there was no uber and stuff like that so uh, i called her taxi and uh i went with her in the taxi to drop her off home and then i just the taxi i paid him extra to bring me back because of course you know i wasn't just gonna let her get in the taxi and a, a person in the taxi driver home by herself when she's really drunk so i i'm just saying man what do you think let me know in the comments your thoughts on this um yeah <laughs> Calm down. Really? This, yeah this, yeah this, you guys your you're swearing, you're jail. yelling. Okay. She's drunk. Then to bring me to jail because you don't have proof that I drove you drunk. Okay, but you you're, lie. You're you lie, okay, though. All right, you're okay. under arrest. Come on. Come on. Get up. I'll grab her phone. But the good thing is we'll keep you. We got some place for you to stay tonight. So you can sober yeah, up. Yeah, my daddy will be great to hear about both of them. Yeah, good. But he can't come bond you out until you sober up. I'm sure. sorry, what? Until you sober up. You can't be bonded out until you sober up. I'm not trying to get bonded out. Okay, well, you'll be in I'll grab her phone. All right, come on, huh? walk this way. Have you guys been contact with me? I'm sorry to pause this. This is a little bit confusing. They'd rather take her to jail, right? Um, and then make her get bonded out because she's drunk to keep her in there. Where at the same time, they could probably take her home. <laughs> At first, when she asked them to, I, I, I'm just saying, man, you guys, it's a little confusing this video, right? <laughs> uh, I know she's kind of being rude, and that's because she's under the influence, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people get like that, man, so they ain't not in the right mind. But I think it would have been better they just drive her home at the first time she asked them to, politely. No, she did She did ask them politely in the, the first, right? Whew. But I guess let's continue seeing this video because it's about to get crazy, I'm guessing. <laughs> Sorry about the party. I don't know. Only you would know that. Oh, really? You guys have been watching me the whole time. You don't know? You don't have any shoes over there. You have a phone. I've been sitting there the whole time. I haven't moved. So you guys don't know where it went? I have no idea oh, what you did. I'm so glad to know I that. know where my shoes are. Oh! No, 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 I was not Where's leaving, y'all left family? my shoes, you left your keys hey, your car, that's all on you guys, hey, 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 hey. y'all don't know, we don't want your car, we think <laughs> Really? You don't care all of a sudden my shoes? I don't have any shoes. You Where's your key? My well, no, we want to make sure your keys really? aren't lost or anything like that. Where? Where any... is it? You Where's don't care your... about my shoes, but you care about my car. You don't have a person. You don't have shoes. You don't, you don't, have, shoes. Shoes. You don't have. Yes, it was over there. Do you have a purse? That's what we're trying yes, to help you. Yes, it was all over there along with my shoes. At the and tree, there was only your phone. Everything. We only seen your no, phone. All okay. Of my... okay, Jessica, relax. We'll go over there and look. We'll look again, but we just are asking you. We don't know. We weren't here. We don't and know. And I don't deserve to be. We haven't. We treat you with nothing respect. You've been yelling at us and swearing really? at us. And you know because what? Because I'm handcuffed it's probably for not no because reason. You're probably normally not like this alcohol. It is. And I'm not even okay. drunk. So relax. I'm just lost my boyfriend. Yeah, let's okay. see how drunk I know. <laughs> okay, we'll come over here. You want to open the back door there? Let's get her in there. All right, come over here. You don't need to push me. All right, come on. Go ahead, have a seat. We'll have her take a seat. Yeah, but I managed to figure out how to get up on you. Good job. Yeah, but you didn't figure it out. But I'm so wasted. I agree. Yeah, oh, claps for you. You're Ignorant. She surprisingly agreed Ooh. to a preliminary breath test, which resulted in 0 0.20. I'm sorry, you repeat. Window, blow out, exhale, okay? You missed the whole tube. 
thought you were saying. I keep trying, quit yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. But you this are. is yelling at you. I'm not yelling. See? You see the difference? I Let me can't help you out. see the difference. That's why no, you're shit faced. You're point two oh. Ah, that's it. Can one of you guys just run over there and look for a purse? Okay, I don't understand this video, you guys. She clearly told him when they get, went up to the tree that she was drunk. I mean, she even said that she told her boyfriend, or, or I don't know what he is, that she was drunk and she wanted to go home, right? And he didn't want to take her home, I'm guessing, like, and call her a drunk. And then they're surprised because she blows in the birth laser, a uh, birth laser, birth laser, uh, beyond the normal. When she already told him she was drunk and she asked for help to go home. I don't know, you guys. I think this could have just been prevented. If, if, I mean, ain't they supposed to try to take you home if you tell them that you want to go home because you want them to take you home? They, I guess because you feel protected if they take you home instead of some random, I guess, taxi driver or whatever, especially when you're that drunk. I know some police officers, they just do your job. I'm not saying all of them are, like, bad or anything like that, man, but this is kind of like, it could have been prevented. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this video, man. But yeah, it kind of like went uh, a little bit more than it was supposed to. It's right. We found her. Oh, you found her? Whether she's yeah, rude or not, she's car. drunk. Oh, okay. And keys are in there. She didn't even know where it was. She thought they were over there. Okay, this is her stuff. What does she do over at a quarter of I don't know. Sounds like, I mean, they gave us that call earlier. She, she admitted she was there. Kind of fight with her boyfriend. He was said she's a drunk or something, and she got mad, and she's acting like she was acting like with us. She, yeah. like, broke a bottle, and they, were clean, they already cleaned it up. She's so. just acting disorderly. She's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Was, but there's no charges over there. A glass that was already broken, and she kind of knocked it on the ground, but it was already broken. So it's kind of like... Yeah, she was just out of control, man. Yeah, and I guess she was kind of like was slapping at a, a worker, but he's like, no, I don't want to do anything. Like, I was just holding her back. She was just trying to do it. Oh, she's out of control. Yeah. People are flagging us down. And then I was like, okay. Because we were right there. here. Yeah, we pulled in. We were, like, watching. And then uh, and she was by a tree. She was standing by a tree. And people were, like, pointing. So yeah, we were, like, look. We found your purse, Jessica. She's got it. Well, hey, hey Jessica, you can't, you can't try to escape. I don't know what she did in that place, you guys. But in, my, in her defense, I got to admit it. When she, they went up to her, she was not acting well. She actually was calm. But after they didn't want to take her home, she started acting like she was... But like I said, that's that's under the influence of alcohol, man. I don't know if she's like that when she's not drinking. A lot of people are not like that when they're not drinking. But uh, wow, this is a video that's a, I'm a little mixed feelings about this video, man. Um, you know, because of the other video I saw where the police officer just gave the guy that was drunk the ride home, like you know, even offered to give him a drunk uh, ride home instead of him riding his bike drunk. You know what I'm saying? Jesse, you can't be doing that, or we're gonna have to spray you, and we do not want to do that. Go ahead. We don't want to. No water. No. You can't be doing that. There you go. Good luck. Great fire. Here we go. Yeah. You want a kiss? No. I doubt it. Because she broke a glass, right? Through a glass. I don't know, but the BAC was a point two on the money. <laughs> what? That's an evil laugh. You said you don't need air? I'm just trying to give you air. Help you Government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you live, I'll just write down her address. Alright. God and life. It's so funny. So do I, yeah. It's so funny. Don't know who you're dealing with. God takes people and I know I do. And he makes examples and you all get to watch. Huh? She was then transported to the jail where she continued to be a problem. Oh, please. All of a sudden you care about me? Jeez. I'm going to close this. Excuse me. I was really... No, just my passport is in oh, wait. Um, yeah, my... Is. Coach Clutch is a zipper. Yeah. I have no problem calling her it. Not that she, one. Nope, she got your passport right okay. there. Okay, good deal. Thank you. You're welcome. Same money. Anything to clear anything off. Do you have any money? Hi, hi, You're hi. welcome. Thank you. Do you have any money yeah. here? What's that? Money? Um, maybe a few dollars from Canada, but other than that, I sincerely doubt it. We have a complaint for fireworks. All right.
Sorry, calm down. Okay, spread your feet for me. Oh my god. Well, you said spread your feet. I'm just confused. I'm a dumbass. Okay, put your hand on the wall. Where is yourself? Oh, don't worry, I never do. Alright. <laughs> An apartment. Well, this one you're not going to be able to get up. Yeah, it's a special burst. Like, it costs like $15,000. So, unless you can like, have like something to get it off. Well, you better take it off or we're going to have to cut it. I can't take it off, so please do cut it. It doesn't come off? It's garbage. Cut it. It's no! Cut it! Just take it off. What's this thing right here? Do you ever see one of these? Yeah, you need a... Like, Senior yeah. Direct. You like you care. I do care. No, just cut it off. I just told you to cut it. Oh, I don't know you. <laughs> Let me get something to take Dad. it off. Yeah, I think I got all I can to gauge who you are. Ooh, you guys, I don't... I don't, really, I don't know about this video, man. Um, This girl right here, she, she has problems in her life. You can clearly say that... She has disappointment against the person that was she trusted, didn't even want to even help her get home. Uh, the way she's acting, she's like, she's not having a good life. I hope after this video, uh, she gets better and she does not lose trust in police officers because when somebody asks for help, I, I think the police officer is supposed to kind of help you in a way. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, a lot of people, I mean, if I, if I would get drunk, to be honest, um, I would hope the persons I'm with would like take me home. Obviously, there's been a lot of cases where people call a uh, taxi to a certain person and stuff. They're really drunk, especially females. And sometimes those taxi drivers are over. They like, they're bad people and they might take advantage. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all people that work take, you know, in this type of uh, jobs do that, but there's been cases like that and uh that's kind of wrong for the person not to take her home when she was asking to take her home. I think it's in a way kind of messed up for the police officers to like not take her home when she asked them like if you they could please I guess take her home because uh, when they arrived there she was not being hot like she is right now. But I think she's just like that right now because she has seriously problems in her life. And I hope she gets better and I hope she gets around people that actually might want to look after her. I don't know how she is in real life, if she's really mean to people or not. But clearly, from what I can see, is that, uh, yeah, her life is not great right now. Calm down. He didn't hear me. I was just making sure. Oh, really? But you couldn't figure out how to figure out my things, so we could all assume shit, right? Yeah, you just did. That's how quick you are. But you guys are selling at me then, so what? Do you learn about any food? You got it? People. Food. People. People food. While being held in the cell for detox, she began to go haywire. According to reports, jail staff later observed Jessica on camera attempting to fold and stuff her sleeping mat in the toilet, repeatedly flushing it in an effort to flood the cell. Subsequently, she climbed onto the sink, took off her dress, and placed it around her neck, while simultaneously trying to loop it around the light fixture on the ceiling, which ended up getting damaged. When jail staff responded to remove her from the sink, Jessica began to punch at several of them. In response, she was gifted pepper spray to the facial area. She was then placed into another cell without her clothes, blanket, or sleeping mat until she was calm enough to have them back. After an hour of constant shit, she calmly agreed to use the blanket in the correct manner. Wow. Jessica was charged with misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct and resisting obstructing an officer. She also received citations for her behavior in the cell, light damages, striking two jailers, and causing a disturbance in the jail area. In the end, the misdemeanor charges were dismissed and she was given a year of probation. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Clearly, from what the narrator said at the end, that girl needs help. Uh, I think they should have just drove her home, honestly. Also, uh, from what he just said about her doing that, putting the trying to like put in the light, I don't know if she was trying to like go to another earth somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope they noticed that. I hope they try to like 
say this person might want to like i don't want to say the word because of youtube but you know what i mean from what i had seen through the video i kind of noticed something was wrong in her life and uh i don't i just have mixed feelings about this video you guys y'all let me talk talk to me in the comments tell me what you think was what, what the police officers did was right should they just took her home i think in a way they kind of escalated things to the point where she she's trying to like go to another planet i hope she got better in her life you guys honestly but want to watch another video like this you can watch this one right here and i will see you next time also click the like button it helps this video is out and i truly have mixed feelings about this video from the police officers i don't know i could be wrong let me know